Pesu ya so no nyanfo haru na idrusu. Ene emra shibe jweni ewo honom. Na MP pa mnyo kwa monsu no. Wapenyiba kwa ni din edi orura Yusif Yakubu. Wanusu di atuja se kwa mbi ya so 2020 ya bani muno. Ah, wabeyi e ye haru na idrusu abofomu. Amu anumum ena abeye emra shibe jweni ewo mpesu ya naso. I live in Tamas House since 92. And I became parliamentary candidate, as constituent secretary to parliamentary candidate. We know everything in Tamil itself. I've been in constituents, this constituent actively for the past 13 years. And we know the out and in of Tamil itself. If you go through the constituency, there's nothing that you point at what will say that is his legacy. Talking of electoral electrification, which is government program, what have you. For good 16 years, I've been saying it, and any time I get platform, I say it. We can't say that we can't downplay what he did in Tamale South. We must confess he did something. But considering the number of opportunities that he had in Tamale South for 15 years, if you compare this number of years to what he has done, Master, you will agree with me that this man is somebody who is not helping the constituency. We, we don't have any training institution in Tamale South. A vocational training center because, as I told you, the empowerment of the people, especially the youth, is very critical. We don't have any fund that is established by this man, Honorable Haruna Idrisu, for students. There's no proper program that is established in this constituency for the people. All the programs that we see, the project that we see, are from the government. And you think the man is Mugabe. We can say it for saying it, but let me tell you, the people have far awoken and they know what is happening now. What is needed in terms of his education? Because I can't imagine government is using his money to execute project and the MP is going around claiming that he's using his own money. So such a situation, don't you think is the education that the people are looking for? We agree. He's a leader in parliament. Fine. But he started somewhere before he became the leader. And we all know how he got there. So I am saying that the time has come. And it is not any other time but now. I'm happy. He has been confirmed as a candidate who ran in 2020, and I'll use your media to congratulate him on that. He's my brother, he's a good man. We all agree. He's a role model, yes. But for his long stay in this constituency, is causing harm to the constituency, no other good again.